Welcome back everyone, my name is Abhinav, I'm a first year MD-PhD student and today I wanted to talk a little bit about prepping for the MCAT, specifically if the AAMC material is worth to buy. And uh, this isn't going to be a review about all the study materials out there, but particularly about the AAMC and what I find useful about it, what I don't find useful about it, and ways you can get it so that it's not a big financial burden to you. So the AMC offers a lot of different resources to study for the MCAT. And I can't really show you the exact questions or anything because that is copyright and I don't want to get in trouble with the AAMC. But I'll show you what things you can get with the AMC if you buy their products. So over here is the MCAT official prep hub. Right here you can see that. And these are the products that I bought. And now bought is different, a little weird because I actually qualified for uh, financial assistance from the AMC because I met the requirements during COVID. During COVID, they actually were a little bit more laxed with uh, the financial assistance program. And it actually allowed me to get this because the income uh, that our family generated, I actually fell within that limit and was able to get it. And uh, this allowed me to get all of this material for free uh, and they actually even extended it a little bit uh, because of COVID. So because of that, I would strongly suggest that you see if you qualify the financial assistance program through the AMC. And that way, you can get prep material for free, as well as being able to uh, apply to, I believe, 10 schools for free with the primary application. If anything, you won't pay anything for secondary applications and you get discounted MCAT uh, exam price. With all of this being said, I highly suggest you go check it out and see if you qualify. Um, and with that being said, let's see if the material that the AMC offers is worth it. So the uh, this is what the AMC offered with the fi free financial assistance package. And this is also something that you can buy um, separately if you don't qualify. And uh, what you get here is four exams, four full length exams that are graded and a sample test, which is not graded, but it's like uh, basically like a full length practice test. Uh, you could think of it like that and you can uh, time yourself and pace yourself just like you would for a regular test. And down here you see all the sectional based uh, products that are available. So you have biology, cars, chemistry, um, more cars over here. Um, you get the flashcards, you actually even get physical flashcards um, if you buy the um, full package. Um, and you get the free uh, prep book that the M official guide to the MCAT exam that the AMC actually wrote themselves. They're the ones that make the test, so having this book, they go through detailed um, lists and descriptions of what's on the MCAT and what you should expect from the MCAT and how you should study. Uh, there's also physics and uh, section bank, which is just more practice questions. So with all that being said, is it worth it? I think it's very worth it. And I think that you should get it if you are planning to take the MCAT. And why is because of these practice tests. These practice tests, if I just expand this, um, you can see that there's 230 questions, uh, it's a seven, seven and a half hour test, and you can actually uh, even change the pace if you have some sort of accommodation that you go take in to the MCAT with. And that accommodation, it could be like 25% more time, 50% more time, 75% of time. You could even put uh, unlimited time on these tests. Now, I wouldn't really suggest you doing that unless you have accommodations or that you're just really struggling with time management. Uh, but these questions are very close to what the MCAT actually offers. Um, again, I can't disclose uh, types of questions or like specific questions because of the agreement with AMC. Um, but what I can say is that these prep material uh, exams, practice exams, are what you should uh, go into the test feeling like uh, you know. What does that mean? Well, whatever grade you get on these practice exams, I think that closely resembles what grade you'll get on the actual MCAT. Because the AMC are the ones that make these practice exams, but they're also the ones that make the actual MCAT. So if you do well on these, uh, you'll do well on the real MCAT. And with that also being said, I suggest you take the AAMC practice test last. So save these practice tests uh, at the end of all the rest of the practice tests. So if you have a Kaplan practice test that you get from Kaplan when you buy their full set uh, of MCAT books, you get three or so practice exams. Take those three exams first 
And then once you're done with those exams, take these practice exams. Now, if you want me to make a video about a type of study guide, sort of like timeline of how you should study for the MCAT, please do let me know in the comments right below the like button. Um, and I will try to help you guys figure out how to plan for the MCAT. Um, and I really suggest only taking about two months to study for the MCAT, max three. Um, and you should take a practice exam every weekend, uh, as many weeks as you have practice exams available. And there's a lot out there. So uh, I think that these practice exams are why the AMC bundle is worth it. Now these prep questions are also very helpful. They're also very close to what the difficulty is on the actual MCAT. Um, the only problem with this is that there's just not that many questions. Now you might think, oh my God, like this biology one, there's 120 questions, that's a lot of questions. But if you answer about like 20 of them a day, it's not gonna last you that long. Um, and obviously that these questions, um, you should like do them after you finish reviewing the material and then they'll help you figure out what you don't know. So I think that that's a really good idea to buy these and because they also cover every section. There is one for every section here. Uh, the only thing is I wish that they had a bit more cars only because that's the one that I struggled with a lot. So just having more cars practice is uh, the only way that I really got better. Um, and they also have physics, uh, which is only one section, but even that is like helpful to have. Um, and these flashcards, honestly, these flashcards are like not that great. Um, they're obviously good questions to have. They're just more questions to do. Um, but once you do them once, like you'll remember them and that's about it. Um, and I think this official uh, guide to the MCAT is also very useful if you don't really know about the structure of the MCAT and what kind of material you're expected to know. I think it gives a pretty good outline of uh, what you need to know, how you should uh, go into the uh, actual test, like what you should do. Um, it does a, gives a lot of good information about that. Um, and it's also just a good way to see the overview of the entire MCAT and what it means for your grades and uh, what it means for your medical school application. Um, and it also has a few practice questions in there, which is a good thing. And now I just wanted to go through uh, some of the free resources that are also available um, through the MCAT official prep hub. This is like stuff that you don't have to buy. Um, they have like study plans. Um, again, what's on the MCAT, official prep sample test. Um, they have some good things over here. Um, and here's that free fee assistance program that I was talking about. So see if you qualify for that. And then these are like the essentials. These are also available on the AMC website, but the MCAT essentials are um, what you should read before going into the actual MCAT because there's some instructions that are, must be taken very strictly in order to actually be able to take your test and get the results from your test. Um, and this is the, also where you can see the link for the MSAR. The MSAR is very useful. You actually also get this for free if you qualify the fee assistance program, um, but the MSAR allows you to compare schools and all their metrics which is very helpful to narrow down your list of med schools to apply to and see what kind of scores you need to gain uh, and get on the MCAT in order to have a good chance of getting in and be competitive. And finally, there's this Khan Academy MCAT video collection. Um, unfortunately, Khan Academy, I believe, said that they'll start like discontinuing it um, very soon, um, but it should be available for the next couple of years, I believe. Um, and they have very good videos about a lot of different MCAT topics and they actually are the ones that helped me figure out uh, what I need to know about physics in terms of light optics that was like the worst part of physics for me but their videos made it like very clear and I was able to understand it so with that being said that's everything from the AMC MCAT official prep hub um, please do let me know what you think um, there's different products that you you can buy through uh, the MCAT prep hub but it's uh, something that I think is very good to get um, and that sh it should only be part of your entire study repertoire. Uh, it should be a place that you can get go to get the sample test as well as just a few practice questions. But ultimately, you should supplement it with something else. Um, and if you just ace these right off the bat, well, maybe you'll get like a 528 and you probably won't need anything. But I think for the vast majority of us, I think this is a good way to get uh, exposure to what the AMC flavor is um, and get into the MCAT uh, with the right foot in the door. So with that being said, that's all about uh, that's all I have for today. Um, please do let me know if you want to get more videos about the MCAT, about the studying strategies that I had. Um, and I did make a video about how I got a 514 on the MCAT. I'll link it down below. 
Um, and that's about it. So please do like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.